down the millennia, what we know as common sense has served mankind well. Until now. Modern physics, such as that being carried out at CERN's Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, is taking us on a journey to the very strange, that challenges all notions of common sense, where nothing is as it seems. Here, minute protons, each containing three quarks, are collided together to recreate conditions that existed less than a millionth of a second after the Big Bang. They're forced to travel so fast that as they approach the limiting speed of light, their increasing energy becomes partly expressed as greater mass. And by the time they're smashed into each other, they acquire 7,000 times their rest mass. For comparison, a human being accelerated to this speed would weigh around 500 tons, the weight of a fully laden jumbo jet. It's Einstein's theory of relativity that explains this bizarre increase in mass. And in these extreme experiments, relativity has a significant impact. It's been proved that particles of light, known as photons, travel through space at the absolutely constant speed of 300 million meters per second, irrespective of the speed of the observer. Weird. And all the strangeness of relativity stems from this discovery. Here are two photon researchers who happen to be identical twins. We'll call them Home Lover and Wanderlust. Wanderlust, true to her name, sets off on her testbed and accelerates to a high velocity. She then times the passage of a photon from the top of her laboratory to the bottom. The photon takes 10 nanoseconds, and during that time, her heart beats 100 millionth of a beat. Her twin, home lover, times the same event. But true to her name, she watches from home. From her point of view, the light, travelling at its constant speed, has travelled much further, as wanderlust flashes by. She therefore times the photon's journey as taking 20 nanoseconds, twice as long during which time her heart has beaten 200 millionths of a beat. From their lifespan's allocation of a total number of heartbeats, Home Lover has used up double the amount that Wanderlust has. Because of her speed, Wanderlust's time scale has dilated and diverged from Home Lover's. Time itself is not absolute, it's elastic. When Wanderlust eventually returns, she could look much the same whereas her twin might be over a hundred. And if you think all this strangeness has nothing to do with you and me, let's consider the fast-becoming must-have gadget for all cool dudes, Satnav. Endpoint three miles, keep left. An everyday demonstration of relativity in action is the way Satnavs work out the car's position. They compare time-stamped pulses from different satellites. The pulses from the nearer satellite will arrive earlier. Comparing the two arrival times gives the car's position. In point one miles, turn left. But according to the theory of relativity, the clock whizzing about in space, like Wanderlust's stopwatch, has a flexible relationship with clocks at home. And if not allowed for, would result in an embarrassing moment for our man about town on his way to a date in a city centre wine bar. If the time pulses were not corrected for relativity, there would be an 11 kilometer error every day. And if this comparatively slow movement of a satellite results in missing a date, think of the possible errors in the Large Hadron Collider, where particles approach the speed of light and events are measured in trillions of a second. Getting lost in three dimensions is bad enough, but looking at the wider universe, some physicists at CERN believe there could be more dimensions, some very large and some very small. For example, take this three-dimensional space. Let's take a closer look at one of its two-dimensional planes. 
look closer. It's possible that tiny extra dimensions, whose shadows are known as Kalabi Yaos, are lurking there. In looking for the possibility of minute superstrings, CERN's Large Hadron Collider is gearing itself up to go exploring in 11 dimensions. Strange as this seems, there may be an indication all around us of these extra dimensions. The mild mutual affinity all energy and mass have for each other is one of the fundamental forces of nature we know as gravity. But it's dramatically weaker than the other forces. It takes the vast mass of the entire Earth just to pull an apple off its stem. Physicists are wondering if the reason gravity has such a weak effect on mass in our three dimensions is because it is too timing us and partially exists in these other dimensions. Mass itself may come into existence by interacting with the Higgs field. On rare occasions, mass can be so compressed it forms a black hole, and there's the possibility that two of the LHC's detectors, ATLAS and the compact muon solenoid, CMS, may be powerful enough, if there are 11 dimensions, to detect mini black holes, points that distort the very fabric of space-time itself and last for a fleeting moment before evaporating. If they can happen in the LHC, they'll also happen in our upper atmosphere as a result of cosmic ray bombardment. But now they could, for the first time, come under the microscope of CERN physicists. And the final strangeness could be what might be glimpsed in another of the LHC's detectors, ALICE mini Big Bangs. By firing massive lead irons at each other, each containing 82 protons, Alice may momentarily liberate quarks and gluons from their proton and neutron prisons, where they've been held since a millionth of a second after the Big Bang. This could recreate the quark-gluon plasma physicists believe was present at the Big Bang itself. The LHC is indeed set to take us on the strangest journey of all time.